Oh, my first love, what have they done to you? You were once great and beautiful, powerful and strong. Now you are in ruins, weak and broken, a shadow of what once was. Oh, my first love, Adrissia, let the gods bless us once again. I remember, through the words of my father and his father before him, how once we were unified and powerful, how once Thracians instilled fear in the hearts of pompous Greeks hiding behind their stone walls. But alas, those blessed days are done, and it was those foul Greeks who brought their end. Evil Philip the tyrant with a heel upon our neck. At least his vile son, Alexander the Butcher, went east to the prize of death. And when the Macedonians were gone, righteous Suthes claimed our freedom once again. And for a short time, all was good with the world. I remember, with mine own eyes, the day that that beast, Lysimachus, servant of Hades, marched upon our lands. I see it still, in the night, in my nightmares, the horror and pain put upon my people, upon my family, the truest cost of supposed Greek civilization. When news came of Lysimachus's death by the hand of other Greeks, I should have laughed, if not for the fact that I longed to strike him down myself. Since then, more enemies have surrounded us, fanatical Celts, steppe riders in the north, and our once great capital, Suthopolis, has become ashes, our tribes splintered like driftwood. But do not weep for me and all the pain I have suffered. Weep for our beloved Thrace, for she is bent and broken. So it is time to march to unify her once more, to avenge all those lost to her. And maybe, from the ashes, she can rise to be great once again. <laughs>